Canada is one of the top destinations in the world, with millions of people from across the globe hoping to come here every year to settle, visit, or work. To navigate the immigration system, many people turn to consultants or other services for help. While nearly all operate honestly, and scrupulous actors can exploit the system and take advantage of people, that's why the government of Canada is strengthening the regulation of immigration consultants to protect those who wish to come here. Honorable Sean Fraser, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, marked the official opening of the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants. The college is now the official regulator of immigration and citizenship consultants across the country. All paid consultants must be licensed by the college to work with Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. The college regulates immigration and citizenship consultants under the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants Act. It has new powers and tools to investigate professional misconduct and to discipline consultants. The college can also protect the public from unlicensed consultants by Entering a consultant's premises to gather information for an investigation. Compelling witnesses to appear and testify before its discipline committee. Requesting court injunctions to address unlicensed actors providing immigration or citizenship advice without authorization. New, higher standards for consultants have also been introduced. Going forward, completing the new competency-based graduate diploma program will be the only way for aspiring consultants, who must already hold a bachelor's degree, to enter the profession. College licensees must also complete annual continuing professional development requirements and an annual practice assessment. The new college is a key part of the government's efforts to fight fraud in Canada's immigration system. It builds on significant action over the past few years, including an investment of $50 million to fight fraud and new educational tools to help applicants identify fraudulent activity. It also fulfills a mandate commitment to strengthen oversight, uphold the integrity of Canada's immigration system, and protect all those who wish to come here. The opening date of the college was established in a ministerial order, which was published on August 14, 2021. This order also formally approved the previous regulator, the Immigration Consultants of Canada Regulatory Council, to continue as the new college. The college is an arm's-length institution, regulating the profession and protecting both the public and consultants in good standing from those who take advantage of vulnerable people. The college's initial board of directors will be comprised of five public interest directors appointed by the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, and four members of the college, the consultants. A code of professional conduct for the college will play a major role in establishing and maintaining strong ethical and professional standards by which all licensed consultants must abide. Know the risks of using an unlicensed consultant. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people choose to make Canada their home. Many of these newcomers decide to hire a consultant to help them navigate the immigration or citizenship process. If you hire a consultant, they must be licensed by the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC will only deal with representatives who are licensed to provide paid immigration advice or representation. IRCC will not accept applications submitted by unlicensed consultants. Hiring an unlicensed consultant can have serious consequences. Beware of people who present themselves as immigration consultants, 
but who are not licensed by the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants. Unlicensed consultants may not have the same training and education as licensed consultants or other paid representatives, lawyers, and notaries. Unlicensed consultants are not held to the same ethical standards as members of the college. That is why using an unlicensed consultant can have serious consequences, such as losing your money. Paying for a service you never received. Paying for fraudulent services. Having your application denied. An unlicensed consultant tells you to apply for a program you're not eligible for. So your application gets rejected. Being barred from entering Canada. An unlicensed consultant told you to lie or hide information on your application. And now you are not allowed to come to Canada for five years. Using an unlicensed consultant can also lead to identity theft, money stolen from your bank account or credit card, threats of violence and exploitation. Using an immigration representative, do it right. Canada welcomes thousands of newcomers each year. Many choose to use paid representatives to help with their immigration or citizenship applications. People who provide paid immigration or citizenship advice or representation must be authorized to do so. This means that providing paid representation or immigration advice can only be done by members in good standing of one of the following. A Canadian provincial or territorial law society, the Chamber des Notaires du Quebec, the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants. Choose a representative carefully. Ask people you trust to recommend someone. Get advice from several people before you choose. Find a licensed representative at Canada.ca/slash immigration representative. Ask about the representative's training and experience. For example, ask for references and find out how long they have been in business. Be careful of someone who will not answer your questions. Check that the representative is authorized. Once you've chosen a representative, get a written contract or service agreement and read it carefully before you sign it. Make sure the contract lists the services the representative will give you, such as providing immigration advice or dealing with IRCC on your behalf. The contract should clearly indicate their fee. Beware of a representative who suggests you give false information or withhold information in your application. It is against the law. You could have your application refused, be denied entry into Canada, or be deported after you arrive. Don't sign blank application forms or any forms or documents you cannot read. If you don't understand them, ask someone for help. Get copies of any documents your representative makes for you. Ask for a signed receipt when you pay your representative. Protect your money and remember that IRCC will never ask you to deposit money into a personal bank account or transfer money through a private money transfer company. Processes fees in Canadian dollars and they're the same around the world. Fees in local currencies are based on official exchange rates. If you have a problem with your representative, you can file a complaint. For an immigration or citizenship consultant, contact the College of Immigration and Citizenship Consultants. For a lawyer or notary, contact the Canadian Provincial or Territorial Law Society or the Chamber des Notaires du Québec. 
For a paralegal, contact the Law Society of Ontario.